Welcome to your worst nightmare. Yours because you made it. Hey guys, this is the last Zombie Night Terror level editor tutorial. And I'm going to cover all the types of challenges today that you can set for a level. All of your challenges are in the settings, so we're going to get there first. A couple of options at the top here are for notifications. You can choose to set a notification for completing and failing a challenge. So that way it'll have a little pop-up, that way the player knows that they have, in fact, completed or failed that challenge. Now we're going to add each of these challenges from the available rules. We'll delete the one this level was made with by clicking the minus symbol. I just grabbed this level from the game and loaded it on here just so we had a pretty background while we did this. Adding Don't Lose Zombies. This one is pretty obvious. It's the number of zombies you don't want to lose. With zero, you're basically saying, don't lose any zombies. Uh, you can set the number to be absolute by checking this box and setting a number. If you don't, you'll need to set a percentage. Next up is don't use mutations. Of the mutations that are available on your level, you can choose which ones you'd like to see the player complete the level without using. Add as many as you want by choosing the mutation and then clicking the plus symbol to add it. You can delete by selecting that mutation and hitting the minus symbol. Crazy hard math. Next one is kill enemies. This is how many enemies you want the player to kill. You could just check this box if you want them to kill all the enemies, but if you want to get more complicated, you can set a specific number of enemies to kill. You can also set how they're killed. Count all means it'll count any kill you make. Count grounded is only the ground kills and count midair, meaning only the enemies killed while in the air. All right, so this one is kill targets. To set this one, you're going to need to make sure that you have targets in the level. Uh, we did that in the settings tutorial. That means that you need to select one of the characters and um, just check the box that says a challenge target. The next one is limited mutations use, which lets you limit mutations that can be used. <laughs> so say that of the available mutations, you have an overlord, but you want the player to use it once to complete the challenge. You can set that number, as well as add and subtract mutations from the list that you want to limit. After that is limited time, see we're on a limit theme now, you can set a time you want the player to complete the level in, such as two minutes, 30 seconds. Next is triggers. You can use this to specify the number of times you'll have to trigger it. Uh, then you use your challenge unlocker trigger however you want, uh, so that when the number of times is attained, the rule will be unlocked. The user time usage rule is best to use if you've already set a time limit. You can either allow the player to use the fast forward and pause or not uh, to add more difficulty to a time challenge. Wake zombies is the number of zombies that the player must create during the level by waking them. You can set this number just like the don't lose zombies rule. So there is either an absolute number of zombies to wake or a percentage of the total possible zombies a player could wake on the level. So say there are 10 humans on the level, 50% would mean that you need to turn 5 of those humans into zombies to win the challenge. Yes, again, math. Lastly is zombie count. This is the number of zombies you must be left with once the level is complete. So if you want the player to have more than one walking dead by the end of the level, this will need to be set. Again, this could be a percentage of the total zombies they could wake that they must have left by the end of the level. It's good to limit the number of challenge rules you create. More than one challenge on a level can be pretty difficult for the player. Uh, the best way to know if you've made a good challenge, though, is to go ahead and play test your level yourself to see if you can beat it. If you can't after many, many trials, and your friends can't or whoever else you want to play this with you to play test it, uh, you'll probably need to cut back on the number of rules you've made. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I really hope that these tutorials helped you out if you didn't understand the level editor. 
And uh, we still have a guide that's available on Steam, so that's really good to check out too. We are still doing a stream. Uh, we're going to use this new service called Caffeine. If you haven't heard of it, it's a lot like Twitch. And we'll be Good Shepherd Games on there. Uh, the last thing I want to let you know is that we still have a contest going on through December 1st, so please do submit your levels. We've got really cool prizes, and I want to play. I want to play what you guys have. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope that these helped you out. <laughs>